Hey, we're in Copenhagen, Denmark, and we're going to ask people on the streets to see what you should not do on a date with a Danish man or woman. You don't know. Uh, get drunk on the first date. <laughs> <laughs> so you okay. don't yeah. like girls who don't get drunk on the and first date. Yeah, you have to get a little drunk on the first date. Tipsy, day. not drunk, Tipsy. maybe. <laughs> maybe it's just because we're a bit shy. <laughs> so it's yeah. nice to get a drink and relax a little bit. Yeah. So asking you interview questions. Yeah, it was like this going on uh, on the first date. Like, what I'm studying and uh, like, what what's... Where, where, I, where I'm living and uh, where I... Like where too many information. Yeah, yeah, too many information yeah, yeah, yeah. and not really like Hate any person, personal stuff. Like, as well. I don't know. Yeah, maybe just like casual, keep it... Yeah, keep like, it casual. Not that don't. formal. We're, yeah. I don't know, for me, I wouldn't be taking out to this like really fancy restaurant trying to oppress. No need. <laughs> In Scandinavia, we like, like fashion that is simple and and stylish not too many weird colors and uh, just dress casually what's a very weird color oh like pink <laughs> that, that that's not good in scandinavia um you know danish people like to to stay at home and have this term called hygge uh, just have a cup of coffee and talk about things that could also be a very good date um, yeah. Netflix and chill. Netflix yeah, and you chill, can say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you have anything? Youngest uh, brother. I, I'm I'm only in eighth grade, so <laughs> I'm not really into girls right now. <laughs> oh, you what? <laughs> gray? That wouldn't be bad. So Fifty Shades of Gray is good. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. You don't go and ask a stranger, "Hey, you look nice," and then you say, hey, "Can we go on a date?" It's like, then okay, your yeah, your your brother know someone who knows someone who has a friend and then you go out with them. <laughs> well, Danish women like clean clean guys, right? <laughs> yes, it's true. He impressed me with his laundry skills. <laughs> when you're drunk, you just... You're very horny and then you go... And then you have a connection. When you had sex, you have a connection. And then you can say, you can go out for coffee and say, yeah, it, you were nice. Yeah, yeah, you too, you were also nice. Yeah. I think women here are very independent uh, and you shouldn't expect them to be the one to cook or clean or, you know, take care of the children. Um, but just, I think you have to pay for your separate bill. I don't think the man has to pay on the first day. Why not? Women has money too. Yeah, if a guy asks me out for dinner, I would like to just pay my share of it. Um, if I don't want to date him again, I feel like I owe something. No? Presume that he's gonna pay? Oh, I mean, oh, yes. Uh, yes, that's true. I have totally forgot, forgotten about that. Yeah, that's true. It was a bit awkward because I, I thought that he's gonna pay, but I also knew that he's Danish, so I expected that he's not gonna pay. So I don't remember what happened. I think he paid actually. Yeah, but if we, I'm not we, we, I mean, yeah. of course we love paying, but we want it to be a nice gesture. So I think you go out and then you find someone you think that looks nice, and then you uh, kiss with them, and then you go home and have sex, and then you decide While if you drunk. want to. Yeah. While drunk, yes. <laughs> and then you decide if you want to see them again, and then maybe you can go out and drink coffee. Generally, you have sex before you. Go for coffee. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I think it's more like yes. It is sex before coffee. Alright. Alright. Thank you, girl. Find the Facebook page. You can tag yourself.